Um, that must have been sometime early 72, I would guess, um, with uh, um, some meeting with, with Raymond, Raymond Chow, actually. Um, and also with um, um, another um, American <coughs> businessman who I then began to work with, a guy called Andy Vaughn, who's now you know, started up Coralco and, and now he's got Synergy and so forth. Well, <coughs> Bruce was, um, Bruce certainly made an impression on you. There was no question about this. Uh, um, um, it, it wasn't his stature, it was, I mean, he really did, and I hate to use the word, but he, he had a charisma. I mean, he really seemed to be a few inches off the ground. He never really quite touched the ground, you know. <laughs> there, there was a, there was a whip-cracking vitality about the guy. Uh, and of course, you know, rather than shake your hand, you'll demonstrate his, uh, you know, the ability to, uh, to send his uh, foot past your nose, uh, clearing it by at least to a couple of tenths of an inch at about 140 miles an hour, and uh, by way of introduction. <laughs> uh, one thing that I, it's really not um, a story about uh, a, a personal meeting with Bruce, but um, I, was, I, I wrote, an, wrote a documentary about this. Uh, so I was going back through a lot of, a lot of footage and, and a lot of um, contemporary text and publications and recordings and so forth and so on. And, and uh, I was reading, he did write some quite a bit of, of stuff on martial arts and you know, he developed his own style, and, you know, which was very minimalist. It, it, it really was. It was a most undemonstrative um, style of martial arts. Um, and all the if you like philosophy, perhaps, which went behind that, at least. Uh, and then when you, you, you read all this, and then you see Bruce on the screen, and then instead of this, this very sort of soft, in introspective uh, uh, personality, it goes whack. You know, I mean, what he did on the screen was absolutely no relation whatsoever to what he was teaching or, or, uh, or, or studying. But Bruce understood cinema. And, and, he, and he, he made it look terrific. Um, so there is a big difference between you know, reality and cinema, obviously, but, uh, but he certainly knew how to, uh, how to make what he was doing um, look great to an audience. This is not to say that uh, what he was saying and thinking and doing wasn't absolutely real. He was a, he was a brilliant martial artist. Um, it's just that it wasn't, that wasn't the martial arts that he was teaching. <laughs> Personally, I'm a fan of Bruce Lee very much. I not only he portrayed a certain uh, heroic characters, which reflects it to the world uh, since his death, uh, but personally, I have a lot of respect for his own personal philosophy as a not only as a martial artist but as a human being you know bruce lee gave me and what uh, affected my life and my career and his drive and his his uh beliefs and confidence i don't have particular a favorite bruce lee film i like them all you know because uh, they represent the sort of classic fight scenes in the action movies right like the new, uh, the, the big boss, Fist of Fury, there's a couple of classic scenes when he fought the Japanese, you know, in the Japanese Tokyo, or is it Whale Dragon when he fought under that, uh, in Rome with uh, Chuck Norris, you know. So, uh, they all my favorites. Bruce Lee was able to deliver his physical capability in one shot throughout with no cuts, you know, and that shows a tremendous amount of uh, martial arts capability as in many other action uh, hero on films and you can see it's shot by shot and many shots are cut together and perhaps there's a double involved right? but it's in Bruce Lee cases totally genuine like it's a famous line that Bruce Lee said in uh, this movie Mr. Fury you know Chinese are no sick man basically he's trying to tell the rest of the world that uh, you know Chinese is just as athletic as just as aggressive and energetic uh, or physical capa 
football uh, as any other race in the world. I saw uh, Bruce Lee uh, in 1972 in Golden Harvest uh, movie studio. Uh, and that time I'm shooting a movie called Hep Kido. And uh, he came to visit us and uh, with Chuck Norris. And uh, in that time I with uh, Mao Ying and Hong Gumbo together. And, uh, and he there and everybody's very shocked and uh, we heard his name for a long time. And also uh, I, I saw some of his movie, uh, Big Boss. <laughs> Therefore, he's just like the hero, you know, in, in our mind. And therefore, the people told, told us that uh, Bruce Lee is here now. And then everybody is shocked and everybody is so happy. And then he's so kind and so nice. And to talk to us, you know, everybody, you, you do martial arts, and then he let us talk to you. And then after that, he want to show some of his technique, how's the uh, jaquando, and uh, how to use the punch, how to use the kick. Therefore, he just want me to, to work with him and then to show me how to punch, how to kick. And in that time, there's uh, many reporters there and take pictures. And therefore, I have some pictures with him. It's the black and white pictures, you know. And uh, I just really think he's, uh, except he's a very good martial artist and also he also a very, very nice person. And uh, uh, he do all kinds of martial arts. Actually, uh, uh, when I in the studio shooting, and then he also there, you know, because he has an office in the studio, and then he's welcome me to 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 go to see him. Therefore, I, when I have time, I always go to his office, and then he show me how to training his arm and how strong and. Even your pin cannot pin even his skin, you know. And also we do the kill sound and you want to see how strong to, to do your arm. He said that if a people punch you, you block, you hurt already. Therefore, and also he showed me it's a very important thing is a, a, a weight, you know. And then he just used one hand to bring up for 100 pounds to do like that. Yeah, it's surprising. He's not really tall and very big size and uh, it's internal. Mostly it's internal and external to combine. Some people just do external, some people only do internal, but it's his combination. Therefore, he can use the, the, the internal powers. His punch, his kick, and his movement, and uh, it's, it's uh, fantastic. And it's important that also because we, we are actor too, therefore, and uh, many people in the movie cannot show the, the best technique, and also uh, to let the people really uh, attract the people. But he can show all the movement, even the eyes looking and the hand. This is it's very fantastic. And then we, we learn a lot of things from him, you know, except martial arts, also movies. A long time ago, they do the like, action movies. They're fighting for at least about 10 minutes, 20 minutes. But they want to show the technique of Kung Fu style, how to draw, how to move the movement, all kind of all kind of things, but they, they, they can just like a normal, cannot fight for 10, 20 minutes. It's just a joke, you know. And therefore, he just created a new action. Just one punch, one kick. And then you just finish it. But for the real life, it's the truth about this. Therefore, I think that people really feel he's so great. It's, uh, I think from, from this it starts. They say, wow, wow, this punch is so powerful. This kick is no one is enough already. You don't need to do about 10 times. And then you kick this guy and then falling down and then up again and then falling down up again. He just won and then finish it. Yeah, before he not use the real punch, he can just move very fast and pump. Then you finish it. I, I just feel that, you know. That's what I like. And Bruce, he asked me who in his movie, the game of the death, and uh, but he shouldn't have, you know, but he is fortunately he died, and uh, but I think that is a very fantastic movie, and I will be in his side to fight together, you know, to go up to the like a uh, tower, you know, and every friend have one master, you have to pass it and then you go up 
to the top. But I, I really love it if I have a chance to work for him. But if not, but uh, I, I saw him so many times, and he also told me many different techniques. And also one like, uh, like this kind of punch is he told me how to use this one. And uh, I really thanks him. And, uh, and even about, uh, about eight years ago, when I in stay in Los Angeles, and also every year they have uh, all his students have a like, uh, um, remem remember him. And his wife Linda is there too. I I'm also inviting me to go together. And I, I think everybody uh, always remember him even when, you know. It's, it's almost 20 years, but the people just feel it. It's just like today happened, Bruce Lee. <laughs> the most Chinese people uh, in the foreign country, they only to working, to be like uh, waiters and so, like such thing, you know. But uh, since Bruce Lee's movie, and then the people, and all even movie company, they also use Oriental people more chance to star in the movies, the role. And also, they not only feel, oh, when they see Chinese they, now, they say, hey, you know Kung Fu? The first they ask you this, but before they never ask about that. Who care, you know? But Bruce Lee, it's really to make Kung Fu famous. It, it's true, and also make, uh, special Chinese actor have more chance to show in the movie in Hollywood. Otherwise, no way. <laughs>